<clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Monday, in the afternoon. It's uh, my day off, <laughs> so I'm enjoying my day off. Uh, I slept late in the morning and I slept a little bit in the afternoon. Uh, just remember that I did 50.1, 50.5 hours last week. I haven't clocked such a long week in a long time. So since today was a day off, <clears throat> I say I'll take my overtime for month, for tomorrow. So that's gonna give me four days off to rest. <clears throat> so I have today off and I have tomorrow off. As it comes to time travel, <clears throat> I think that uh, if I make the project, I'm gonna use a, a hard drive motor to spin the thing I need to spin. Because the, the hard drive motor spins to a very high rate of RPM. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I just came from eating some KFC. My throat is quite burned by the salt. And I took like a huge amount of salt. Uh, all this rattling you're feeling right now or hearing, that's the road where I'm driving. It's fucking like that every fucking where. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> this is this is something that's like I don't know why I keep pushing it because I like it, but why do I keep eating at KFC when it's so crappy? It's, I don't know. It seems like nobody over there can do anything right. It's like a constant source of disappointment. But I keep going anyways, because I need my fix. You know, it's uh, just now, it cost me $32 for like the full meal that I wanted and uh, the, the pieces I wanted for my wife. And um, the, 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 the cook could not even get the sandwich right. First of all, it was, instead of being a round piece of chicken, like you're supposed to have in a sandwich, it was two strips. And then she put the regular, uh, the regular mayo when I asked for a spicy mayo. So, that's like one disappointment. And second of all, it's like the first time I went to try the new Lay's cover chip, uh, the Lay's chips cover barbecue strips uh, that they have. The first time that I went to try them, they were excellent. They were red cover with this thing. It was awesome. Now the two times that I go back to take some more, they're fucked up. It's just a little bit and there's nothing on it. It's like, why am I even paying for this? if it's not gonna taste like what it's supposed to taste. So, this, uh, there's many, I actually want to blame someone, and it's a multifaceted blame. First of all, it's the entrepreneur who runs the, the place. Those who are in charge of that franchise. They, they're stupid as fuck. Their the level of stupidity is so high, it's incredible. They don't book people at the right time, they don't organize things properly and so on and so on. Second of all, there's a staff. <clears throat> if you don't like your job and th this is not your dream, your dream job, then quit and go somewhere else. If you're going to work in the food industry, try to do the best of it. Try to do the best job ever because you're bringing food to people. They have high expectation of that food and they don't want to be disappointed. And that, that, it's like at KFC it's like a perpetual repeat of failure of failure of failure and why do people keep going because there's no competition here here where I live there's still KFC within three kilometers of each other's and there is no competition like nobody else makes chicken fried and nobody else make anything that they want to be eating like that you have the regular chicken that would see, but like people there, they don't like that. They want the KFC, but they don't have any competition. So 
they can do whatever the fuck they want because they don't have any competition. It's like electricity. The electrical, the electric grid. Uh, they can do whatever the fuck they want because there is no competition. And they, they, they run the government just as well. It's, I'm telling you, the only place where I go to eat and I'm not disappointed at all is another another chicken place restaurant. But over there, it's like more of a rotisserie than a fried chicken place. And uh, it, it's reasonable price, you know? If, if you want to eat specific thing, it's going to cost some money for sure. But it, it's very good and it's it doesn't bad. And the service over there, it's always extreme. It's uh, each time I went to that restaurant that is not here in my localities, the service was better than expected. Uh, I wrote two emails to the company, to the restaurant, saying how I was satisfied by the quality of their service and the professionalism of their staff. Even their young people, they answer every question, they do everything right within the letter and they don't fail at it. They do a, such a good job. I only have high praise, you know, each time I say that, I say that little gentleman there that was there last time, he served me, that's twice in a row I go there, I go there occasionally, and that gentleman there, that young boy that's 20 years old, he did such a good job, I only have praise for this gentleman, and I wish he keeps going on that pace, and uh, the, 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 the the company replied to me, and they say, we gonna, we gonna give like praise to him, because you did, you say such a good job. But at KFC here, there's no such thing. I have no praise to give about to anyone. It's a failure each time. Each freaking time, it's failure after failure after failure. And, and I keep going there. And worst of all is like the, the drive through. The drive through has been closed for almost four months now because of, uh, of a software issue. It's like, how bad can that be? fix the goddamn software issue and reopen the drive through Some people don't want to get in and wait in line. They want to go and eat in their car, like I do. I like to spend time with my car. I like to spend time with my trucks. I like to spend time on my car. It's my favorite place to be. I like to be inside my rig. <clears throat> this is like when I go to RVs. Uh, when I go to RVs, over there, there's a girl that takes my order. She doesn't make any mistake. And then she passes it on to the person that's gonna put the spreads and the foods on the on your hamburgers, prepare it. And each time it's always good. I'm not disappointed. It's done properly and she do everything I ask and they do it the proper way and no complaint. At Burger King, it's another difference. The Burger King locally here, the one that's uh, two miles from my home, they have, uh, they're doing their best. I don't complain. But the one not far from work, oh my God. I've been there for two years. They haven't found anyone to work there. It's always short staff. And last time it took such a long time that my hamburger was all mushy and wet. It's like the whole point of that hamburger, it's that it has to be eating fresh. It's the, the bagel hamburger from Burger King. The whole point of that hamburger is that when it's out of the oven, you put the the, the, the the meat patty and everything and then you give it to the customer right away. You don't wait 20 minutes to give it to the customer. It's going to be mushy and disgusting. That's what it was. That was such a disappointment. And then I told the guy, you know, I would love to complain about the failure of your service, but like <laughs> there's nobody to complain to because they are short staff. People my age will understand what I'm saying, but the young people, they'll say like, oh, why do you complain so much? Well, back in my days when I was in my 20s, people took their job seriously and people were delivering a good service. And people that work in the food industry, it was a uh, high praise for them because you're working in the food industry. It's very important that you give the best service to your customer that they want to come back. They want to come back, they're going to talk about you, and more people are going to come. Nowadays, it's like, pff, who cares about him? Who gives a fuck about this whole complainer? It's 
It's like nobody cares. No, no literally nobody cares. It's the disappointment. And uh It's that's the sad reality of kids today. The kids in their 20s and above, they, they don't take anything seriously. They don't take their job seriously. They don't understand what the work is all about. Uh, you can take an example, my oldest nephew. Uh, he doesn't understand the reality of the job that he has, the, the, the opportunity that he had, and he messed them up. Because what? One day he's doing too much drug, and then he's skipping He's skipping work, and then they say like, oh, well, you're not serious enough, too bad, so sad. Again with you. So that's what the disappointment is. And that's the entire generation that's like this. You know, it's, uh, well, I wouldn't say the entire generation, but a good part of it. Uh, a good part of it, they they don't want to work. They don't want to. They want to have free shit. That the that they're an age to vote right now, and they're gonna mess everything up because like oh the government's gonna go for like the IBs, the the UBI, the universal basic income. The government's gonna give us this, we, so we won't have to work. We'll be able to stay home and play video game all day. Great future. So you know. I want to time travel to see what the future is going to be like. It's going to be so horrendous. And 5, 6, 10, 20 years from now. Wow. And what world are we going to live? You're going to walk in the street. And you have, you're going to have to walk down your face heading on the ground. Because you're afraid you're going to face someone else. And say like, hi, how are you doing? And then it's like, oh, I'm all triggered. You're going to go to prison. That, that's the generation we're raising. Seriously. Think about it. You know, back in my day, this... A slap in the face or behind the head goes a long way. But today's parents, they can't be bothered. You know, that's one reason why I didn't have kids. Because I would rather not have kids than not be bothered by a kid and fuck his life up. And then be stuck with his failure. Anyway, have a good day everyone.